let's get this fucking started, shall we? There we go, and we're gonna move that here. Perfect. All right, let me move myself down a little bit, and I'm simply gonna say, "Welcome in, welcome in." We are about to start a brand new fucking playthrough. And I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Some of you probably read what it is and already know what it is. Or some of you guys, you know, took an educated guess. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe you'll be surprised. At everyone, I'm starting a brand new playthrough. There we go. <clears throat> And the thing we will be starting is Feeding Frenzy Xbox 360, also known as God damn it, I thought it'd let me go back. Well, that ruins it. Final Fantasy 7. <laughs> I have never, ever, ever played this game, and I am beyond excited to see what all the hype is about. I want to know. I am excited. Any fucking music? No? Why is there just no music? What the fuck? This is weird. Also, this looks amazing on my fucking giant TV. Hold up, let me uh, let me answer one person real quick. Okay. Well, let's see. Is there still music? This is weird. This is throwing me off. Is it like glitched out or something? Welcome in, Joshy Cordner. Oh, nope. And there's the music. My god, was it quiet before? It certainly isn't now. My goodness. Producer Hino... Hino Nobu? Hino Nobu? And the director Yoshi Nori Kitase? Alright. Well, love this. Music composer, our boy... Jesus. You cannot expect me to read it that fucking quickly. God damn. Character design. Bless you, Nomura. <laughs> Nomura, for bringing us Tifa. Thank you, thank you. Art director, Yusuke Naora. Oh my goodness. Oh my fucking ears. Me to fucking goddamn say anything. Let me like. I want to turn it down, but the only problem. Jesus. How do I turn it down with this shit? I don't want to do that. God damn it. God damn it. Can't do any of these things. Curse you! Why can I not change this? Why can't I change the fucking audio? Why does that be so fucking loud? I listen to the noise music. I'm okay, dude. I'm not okay though. Jesus, this is going on for a while. I love it, but let me change the fucking audio. Jesus Christ! I love you all, but holy fuck. I don't want to skip it. That's just disrespectful. I also don't want to mute it either. That's also disrespectful. How the fuck do I turn this shit down? Maybe
Maybe that'll work. I mean, it's still super loud to me, but maybe it's a lot more fucking manageable, you know? I sincerely apologize to everybody hearing this. I think I just did something to make it work a little bit better for audio. But this is lovely music, though. Very, very, I don't know, just pretty sounding. Also, it's cool to have, like, uh, what is it? I assume this is the credits before the game. Uh, oh, oh! Up, hold up, I think it's not, I think it's lowering. No, it's not lowering loudness. It's still very loud. Okay. Holy shit, not additional credits. Can I, like... I gotta do something for this fucking audio, bro. Holy fuck. Uh... Uh... You know what? This game is in HD anyways. I don't think this game has a fucking sound option, so we're gonna do it this way. Um, bear with me, chat, bear with me. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna go... here? Hopefully it doesn't crash the stream. And we're gonna do what I haven't done in a long time, and we're gonna plug my Xbox into my other processor. Because my other processor lets me control stuff a lot better than this one does. But it doesn't have, you know... The same level of uh, picture quality, and because my Xbox usually ha makes the games look better, anyways, I usually use that one. So, that's what I end up doing. Um, uh, it's fine. Close that program. It's okay. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and close that out, and we're gonna video capture, and we're gonna go ahead and go to the right HDMI and everything. Oh, we're not watching Hunter Hunter. There we go. There, there's the HDMI one. Alright, so maybe this will help us out a lot more. This will be a lot better for my fucking ears. There we go. Alright, so this honestly should go a lot better now. I didn't think I'd have to do that because I forgot it's an older game, so the audio was going to fucking scream at me. But yeah, here we are. Here we are. Okay, so clap, clap that. Is it... Where's my controller? I just had it. Where'd you go? There it is. Okay, this is better. I'll, I can work with this, because this I can actually control. Alright. Well, I don't know where to put my camera at, so I'm going to leave it up in the top right corner for now. I was going to talk during the uh, credits scene, but uh, instead I'm going to do it right now. Welcome in. Um, this is my first time ever playing uh, Final Fantasy VII. I have never even gotten to the main menu. This is entirely a first for me. I've never even seen this before. I didn't know the main menu looked like this. I don't know anything about the characters, really. I don't know anything about what's going to happen for the most part. And um, all the stuff I know about the game is just very general knowledge. Nothing specific that you wouldn't get from, like, you know... Apex Legend, uh, Apex uh, Legends, um, you know, event or you know, people just saying stuff about the game, etc. I know some of the characters, and that's about it. As I was saying, I have never played Seven a day of my life. I have never opened the menu, never seen the disc, never nothing. This is uh, downloaded onto my Xbox from online, and I am about to start the playthrough now. So, uh, if you guys, you know, I just, I do, I will say this for both YouTube. And for watching me, please refrain from too many, like, spoilers. But if there is something that I may, like, not be understanding at all and you guys want to explain to me, you can. Um, just kind of ask about it if you want to and just uh, from there. But I'm looking forward to it and I uh, hope I, I – this game's been uh, basically mentioned only as, like, amazing from pretty much anybody. So I'm really excited to uh, hopefully join the hype. I want to uh, – everyone says Lightning is just a cloud ripoff. I doubt I'll feel that way after playing this game. But I want to see, you know, I want to see how cool Cloud is. I want to see how Epic Tifa is. 
I want to see how interesting Aerith is. I want to see the uh, majesty that is Sephiroth and everything. And I want to see what other characters are in this game, you know? But uh, here's uh, here's to this game, man. Let's hop right the fuck on in. New game. All right, so we got a lot here. No encounter. Battle boosts. HP, MP, limit max. Okay, switch, cancel, menu. Okay, next page, previous page. Camera, target, start, assist, direction. Tempo times three. What is that? Oh, that means like the speed, I guess. Direction. Okay. No counter. No encounter. Battle boosts. Alrighty then. Well, hopefully I can fucking remember that. Man, this is an old game. Holy shit, just looking at it now, I can immediately tell. I mean, this is a PS1 game, isn't it? I believe so. Looks alright, though. Looks alright. It is. It's old, but it's not bad. It's, it's going to be a little graphically intense. Drink some tea. Get prepared. So I don't know why we're in space. I don't remember them saying anything about space in Final Fantasy VII, but... <gasps> Once again, I don't, I don't know anything, so... I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be looking at here. Looks like I'm getting on a, the Disney ride, the uh, Space Mountain, you know? Whoa, nice graphics. I know, right? God damn. What's up, Aerith? What's up? This is actually a really nice cutscene. Wow. The animation is surprisingly fluid. Okay. I see you, Final Fantasy. I see you. Them claw physics? This is pre-rendered. This has got to be pre-rendered. This is good. Like, even if the graphics aren't the most insane, this looks good. Wow. Not the craziest intro to a Final Fantasy game, but a but a damn good one. That was like a flex graphically right there. I could see it, the hair movement, the cloth movement, the fluidity of, of movement. I was a fucking train jump scare for some reason. The second tra train jump scare. Third train jump scare. Get ready for the fourth. And the fifth. No, no fifth. Come on. Come on. Give me a fifth. Fifth train jump scare. Damn it. Okay, okay. Now we're in the game. Which is adorable, by the way. Who the fuck is that? Yo, bet. That kick was the best thing I've ever fucking seen. Dude is massive! Holy shit! Alright, alright, Cloud. Come on, newcomer, follow me! Bet. <laughs> oh my god! I love him! I love it! My honest reaction to anything ever, right there. That's, that's it. That's it, right there. That's me. That's that's the guy. <laughs> Yo, why is Cloud got some crazy thighs, bro? Bro's running with some. Bro's a bro's a couple steps above him. Okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. Damn. Oh, wait, what? Wait, is it active? Is everything happening at the same time? I'm confused. Oh my god, it plays like Final Fantasy 13. I didn't realize that. Oh shit, I need to be fast? I did not know that. Oh my god, it plays just like Final Fantasy 13. I thought... Nice. I deadass thought it was going to be like... Final Fantasy 3 or 4, like, fully turn-based. No, this is, like, action. Okay. Okay. That's already unexpected. I had no idea it played like that. Man, him compared to the background is tripping me up, but that's okay. Goodness, I can tell this game was made for a D-pad. He's using the stick. Feels cursed. Biggs. Wow! You used to be in Soldier? Huh? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. 
Man, this music's fucking intense, by the way. Jesse, soldier? Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? He was in Soldier, Jesse, but he quit and is with us now. I didn't catch your name. We're doing Cloud. Yeah, we're doing Cloud. We're good. That's, that works. Cloud. Cloud, eh? I'm... I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. All right. The hell are you all doing? I thought I told you to never, to nev, you never to move in a group. Our target's the North Ma Mako reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. And here we go to move into a group, just like we said we wouldn't. Ex-soldier, huh? I don't trust you. Damn. Okay, Barrett. Throws him. Press the D-pad while pressing B to run. That, you know what, actually, Barrett? I appreciate that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, what are, we, what are we shaking for? Shaking with fury! You got at least two polygons. So edgy. Bro is so excessively edgy. That was fucking hilarious. There's no reason for all that, but bro really said, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm edgy, by the way. God damn it. What's this way? Fuck. Oh no, I'm in battle. I got a dog. Ow, he did six damage. Not the machine gun. Take him out. The weird red, the blurry red mess. I'm getting face fucked by a by a panther or something. Cool. So I got I got to be quick about it though. I can't I can't be doing the Final Fantasy 13 shit. I gotta be I gotta be gaming. So I can't be doing the Final Fantasy 3 and 4 shit. I gotta be I gotta be aware of what I'm doing at all times. I can't be lollygagging. So it looks like random encounters are what they do in this game. Kind of like what the older the other older games did. So it makes sense. Yep, so we're going to be getting into a lot of random battles, it looks like. But that's okay, that's okay, I don't mind. Extra level ups are never a problem. Oh, four damage! No. Also, Cloud does a shit ton of damage. The only thing I don't like is I don't like I can't look at my menu while I'm waiting, but I guess that's why you would go to other people. What does ice look like? Ice! ka -chow! God damn. Why does bro just know magic? Why is that just a thing I can do? Can't, like, if I'm on the street, can a hobo just hit me with magic? Anything here? Nope. Okay, cool. So we'll head out. Make sure there's nothing in the environment for me to grab. Um, even if Cloud is a little edgy, I hope that he's like... Not, like, overly, like, edgy to the point of being annoying, you know? I don't think he will be, but we'll see. We'll see. And besides, I'm sure there'll be other characters, even if Cloud ends up being too edgy. I don't mind it, though. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. You gotta look at characters at the beginning of the game, and you gotta understand that they're supposed to change throughout the game. Like, he's supposed to gain a heart as the game goes on. And I feel like that's totally fine. Wedge. I'll secure our escape passage. You concentrate on the mission, Cloud. Jeez! We're really gonna blow this huge furnace up? This will be something to see. This music is a bob, though. Like, it's still kind of killing it. Like, I don't know if it's looped yet or not. What the fuck are these? Enemy sighted. Warning! Warning! Enemy sighted! Warning! Warning! Enemy sighted! Take him out! Take him out! Take him out! This is the best soundtrack for a Final Fantasy game. I may, I will, okay. Okay. Pause? Pause. I'm not hitting X to doubt. Like, hear me out, hear me out. Pause. I'm not doubting you. I'm simply saying, I'm, I'm gonna fucking cream myself 40 fucking times playing this game, listening to the music. 
if that's true. If that is true, literally, I'm gonna have to leave. I'm I'm just saying, like that's that's crazy, crazy. After 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 13, 13, two lightning returns and 16, bro. I'm like, if it is, I'm not even gonna know what to fucking. I'm gonna fucking have to die. Like the, the like life won't be able to be worth it anymore after that. Like fuck. Like oh my god. All I'm saying, like I'm not I'm not doubting. I'm simply excited. But yeah, this this first song, a bop. I like it so far. You're in for a treat, dude. 13 is still good, though. Edgy, I'm a music nerd, I'm telling you. This is my favorite soundtrack for a video game ever. That's even more impressive, not just for... I like this uh, sinister piano. Ooh, what was that? Ooh. Speaking of music, this does sound pretty fucking good. Right, yo! This is your first time in a reactor? I, I said that. Uh, <laughs> I can't get my voice to go that deep. No. After all, I did work for Shinra, you know. The plan is full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. Or he's, he's supposed to sound a little rougher. We're going to work on the voices as I go through. <clears throat> it's the lifeblood for the, of this planet. But Shinra keeps sucking the blood out of sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just do it. All right, you come with me from now on. Whoa, they fused. We fused. Code deciphered. Think you know how many of our people risked their lives just for this code? Code deciphered. I did not know you were a music nerd, Joshi Cordner, though. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. Let's go, Phoenix down, Phoenix down. I'm waiting to get for the controversial Phoenix up. Oh yeah, I love music. I play a lot of instruments too. Oh, what instruments do you play, uh, Joshy Cordner? I'm fucking trash at every instrument ever. So I'm, I'm extremely curious. Push that button over there. Or, sorry, wait. <laughs> Jesse's a chick. I can't tell with the polygons, bro. Push that button over there! What button? Boop! Switch on. Was that supposed to be an elevator? I love that. Little by little, the reactors will drain out all the life. Then that'll be that. It's not my problem. The planet's dying, Cloud! The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the robo-guards come. Curse you! Smack him. Damn it, I thought he was about to fucking... Uh, fucking right hooks him. With my gun hand. With my big beefy gun hand. Ooh. The crazy... Okay, so we've got Cloud and Barret now. Oh, God. Damn it! Aight, aight. So Cloud does a lot more physical damage than uh, Barret does, it looks like. But not bad. Beam gun! Oh, that's 11 damage. I like that. So Barret's tankier, but he seems to do less damage. Which works. Brett's also got less uh, MP as well. That's all right. He's also a low. Uh, he's also a level lower than Cloud. All right. All right. Um, is the game too loud for the music, by the way, or is it uh like is it a, like a decent noise loudness? I try not to have the game like overpowering me or anything, but you know, I try to also make it where you guys can hear me clearly. If that if there's ever a point where you can't really hear me clearly, please let me know. No, it's perfect. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Uh, hold up. We need to... Ah, the beam gun. I'm just gonna do the attack and attack. Not the miss! That's why you use a sword, so you can't miss! 
You know, I'm about to, Brett's about to use his gun magic here in a second. Oh, he doesn't have magic. Nice. Jesus, when Cloud hits something, it sounds fucking mean. Um, guitar, drums, bass, and I want to learn vocals. That's fucking badass. That's incredibly badass. Oh, we got a potion. Nice, nice. And you mix a master. The best I can do with, uh, so... Would you, would you be able to know any... Uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's... Dude, and playing any instrument well is unbelievably impressive. Playing multiple well is insane. And you just listed three. Yes, I get it. Bass and guitar may be similar. But that's not the point. Like, that's still impressive. The fuck am I wa- Oh, I see what I'm walking on. Press A in front of a ladder to grab onto it. Then use the D-pad to climb up and down. <laughs> oh, I love this. Potion! Where does this go? I think it goes forward. I'm not trying to go forward that way. But, uh, what was your question? It looks, uh, it looks so good, dude. Um, but, yeah, the, um... Uh... Okay, so it's just telling me how to do that. But yeah, so I gotta say, the, uh... Um... I don't know if you'd recognize the, uh, bands, like, just by a name. But, um, I've practiced singing quite a lot. Um, not recently in li life, but I have practiced a lot. Um, and I wanted to give you an idea of what my what, what the fuck? Bolt! If you're curious what my voice sounds like when I sing, I sound like all-time low. Cloud Limit Break. What? That's a- Damn! Alright, alright. Braver, you're not ready. You're not ready. Braver! Damn. That was fucking awesome. But, uh, I like this, this like, intense-ass camera angle, by the way. But, uh, yeah. I, um... When I sing, I sound like the lead singer of All Time Low, or the lead singer of uh, Mayday Parade. Oh, then yeah, yeah, if we were talking about emo music a few streams back, then yeah, when I sing, I sound like the lead singer of Mayday Parade, or All Time Low. That's who I sound like. I'm clo- When I sing, I sound closer to Mayday Parade, though. Yeah. And, um... So, I've- I've practiced singing quite a bit, so I usually- I- my voice, naturally, when I'm singing, like, without any influence of trying to do something, that's what it usually will sound like. So, when I sing along with Mayday Parade, my voice matches with it pretty well. Unlike me trying to match, like, Nickelback or, you know, something else. Where my voice doesn't really... Doesn't really, uh... Access the menu and select save to save your game. Holy fuck, time stone, oh my god! I think it's Y. Okay. Nice. I love these old style sound effects, by the way. So what is this menu here? We got items, which is potion. How much does a potion heal? Just so I can understand. Oh, 100. Perfect. So it tells me. Good. Ether. Phoenix down, arrange, uh, type, always by type. Uh, magic, we got, wait, what? Ice elements attack, lightning elements attack, okay, cool. So that's not really gonna say anything. We've got the buster sword and the bronze bangle, nice, nice. He's got a bronze bangle and a gatling gun. Wait, does it tell me stuff about the weapon? Initial equipment. Oh, okay, so it's not gonna say anything else past that. Initial equip, long range weapon. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Status, okay. Order, okay. Limit, 
What's his limit? Big shot. A bit braver. All right, all right. But yeah, and then um, also when I did, I also practiced doing screamo vocals. And the screamo vocals, when I did them, they would sound similar to uh, Ronnie Radke's scream, uh, screamo vocals from like uh, fall, uh, Falling in Reverse. I couldn't quite do the gruff, aggressive growls of uh, Black Belt Brides. Um, and I couldn't do the high pitch uh, screams of uh, Sleeping with Sirens. But I was able to do the uh, growls of uh, Falling in Reverse pretty well. But I think that's because when Ronnie screamos, he screamos very clearly and just makes it very easy, you know? There's a difference between, like, here, let me, let me, like, back my mic up. But, like, you know, I don't think I can mimic it, but, like, one sounds almost like... <sighs> when, when Black Belt Brides does it, it sounds like a noise while it's very clear Ronnie's doing, like, a vocal. It's like, you know... When 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 uh when Andy does it, it's like scree it's like you know, an aggressive just pure emotion, and while Ronnie, it's it you can very much hear like him saying something even if it's just him going oh, like he'll go oh while Andy literally sounds like just aggressive roaring almost. Hey, it's been a while. Sorry, I uh, not been here. That Tales and Arise grind. That's okay. I hope you've been enjoying the Tales of Arise grind, man. The Tales of Arise grind, I imagine is going is pretty fun. How long is the game? When we blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Cloud, you set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing. Fine, I'll do it. Watch out. This isn't just a reactor. What's wrong? Huh? What's wrong, Cloud? Hurry it up! Yeah, sorry. I don't like the weird red messaging. I'm scared, Barrett! I'm scared! Right. Heads up! Here it comes! It's Gwyn, by the way, cutie. Ah, oh, well. Oh, God! Magic Bolt! Well, welcome in, Gwynny! Long time no see. Glad to see you. I did like a hundred, didn't it? Oh no, he locked on target. He locked on to Barrett. Okay, that's a 90. We like to see the 90. The 35. That's good. That's good. Rifle. That's not good. Oh, he missed. Let's go, Barrett. Let's go. That's a 40. That's a 40 and a 35. 34. Yeah, I get it. Um. Oh, nice. I want to learn to scream too. Yeah, it took me a it took me a while. Um, I beat the DLC. The main game is 70 hours because DLC 30 20 to 30 hours. Full game is about 100 hours. Cloud is hot. <laughs> Cloud can definitely be hot. I will I will 100% agree on that. He can be. I ain't seen him in the dress yet, so I can't confirm fully. I wonder why my limit's not going up. I wonder what dictates that. Cloud! Brett, be careful! Attack while it's tails up! It's gonna counterattack with this later! Laser! Oh no! It's a tail laser! Barret limit break. Bet. We're good. We're good. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Limit! Double limit! We're going all the way! No survivors! Oh god, we're barely living. Chat, we're probably dead. If Barret doesn't kill it, we're dead. Big shot! It's your time! It's your time! Fuck. Shit. I just died. We both just fucking died. Game over. Damn. Yeah, I definitely can say I don't fully process what's going on in this game quite yet in the combat. Oh my god, it's doing the old Final Fantasy shit where I'm back to the main menu. Dear god. Yeah, go ahead. Limit goes up when hit. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, I think the pace of the combat is going to require a lot of learning for me. I don't think I understand the pace of combat at all yet. Sarah the Dragon Finboy. I love that name, by the way. Okay, we just read this. Then we've got this weird interaction. That's alright, that's alright. This game is so good. I mean, I will say, like I said, I, I, it's definitely going to be a learning curve. Because I thought it was... I'm still, like, not really sure when the enemy's going to attack. Like, I don't really understand quite what to base it off yet. I'm probably going to do um, one attack of magic and then one attack of my gun. Fuck yeah. All right, all right. So we're actually going to potion up Cloud. I just did it to Barrett. God damn it. Well, that's fine because now he can actually use the potion, so it's okay. There we go. You know what? Fuck it. We'll do the limit real quick. Search scope. Locked on target. You locked on to me blasting your ass off the map. I'm potion up. Nice, nice. Give me some HP back. Give me some of that HP back. Okay, so I gain limit on taking a hit. Okay. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Yeah, I'm probably going to use some more magic and stuff, because I had no idea that that's, like, you know, that the game was going to be working like that. And I also didn't know that it was going to be, like, fast-paced like this either. Well, I do know it's going to attack when its tail is up. Um, thankfully, we've we've hit it with uh, a limit break already, and we used some magic, so we should be pretty good. Now, the random tail laser. Why did the tail laser go before my next attack? That's my my main confusion right now. Is I just don't understand like what is the battle cue at the moment. Whatever, at least Cloud will survive. This will allow uh, Brett to get one attack off and hopefully survive. Because he doesn't do 100 damage. He does damage, but not quite 100. He does about 70, 60-ish, so. I'm potioning myself real quick because I'm he's going to be dead and I need to potion up. And I'll probably Phoenix down Brett real quick. Or actually, I'll potion myself up again. Does this get rid of my limit? Do I have to use the limit when it's here, or can I save it for a second? I actually don't really know how this uh, system particularly works quite yet. Search scope. Okay, so he's chilled out now. So that was like his big wave of damage then. Because he's actually calming the fuck down now. Okay, I understand. You beat this game two times? Not bad, not bad. Beating a Final Fantasy game twice definitely takes a bit. This is a boss, so I'm going to go ahead and assume this is going to be difficult, and I'm going to Phoenix down to Rez uh, Barrett real quick. I can't figure out how I want to pronounce his name. Barrett, Barrett, something like that. Okay, so I'm probably going to attack him with Cloud with, uh, the, with his magic, and then... Let's try Ice. There we go. At least get both characters up to where I could at least pull off a limit break from both. And it allows me to get more actions off. I gotta give it to him, though. This is definitely a uh, more difficult first boss than I guess I was expecting. We fucking got him! Let's go! Let's go! Do 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 do! There it is. There it is. The noises we've been waiting for! First boss slain! Here, somebody, somebody asked me a question, I apologize. Alright, good, we both got a assault gun. Oh nice, that should be for uh, Barrett, I think, right? 
Come on, let's get out of here. Ten minutes to detonation. Oh boy. More damage and more attack percent. What does that even mean? Go, go, go! So with the three time speed, does that make you go faster down too? It does. It does. So yeah, we're not going to be doing three times speed. I'd rather not be stressing myself out more than I already am. I can tell you now that you beat him. Sure. So yeah, like what was GG? Okay, if tail goes up, it means he will hit you. And you hit him, it's a counter attack. Oh, what? So like their animations and stuff like change like what's going on, I guess. That's pretty fucking cool. God damn it. So, so the animations of the enemies is very important in this game. Well, I did not know that. Now we need to take these side guys out real quick and then take out the big guy together. W machine gun, not the L machine gun, W machine gun. Fair. W machine gun is bound to work better than L machine gun. I agree. So, okay, I actually did not know that. So once again, I keep thinking that this game is going to play like an older Final Fantasy. So I'm not, I'm unaware that I was unaware that animations of the enemies change in battle to to like mean something other, other than like oh it's preparing an attack I didn't think like counter attacks and stuff like that would even be a would even be a thing okay I'll try to keep that in mind as I play then to like actually pay attention to the stance that the enemy is taking you all right my leg got stuck thanks. Wait, can I leave her to die? Is that an option? Cause that would be fucked up. Climb! I can imagine leaving her to die like that. Some boss have a mechanic like that, but not all of them. Okay, okay. Well, it's good to know to watch for the animation, though. God damn it. I don't have any potions to fucking save myself. Whatever. Just guaranteed take at least one of them out. So like there, yeah, why did he attack before me? And why is no one attacking now? I'm so confused. Are they faster than me? Is that what's going on? I don't know. That's alright though, that's alright. It's like like I said, it's close to Final Fantasy 13. I just have to try to like mentally understand it slowly. But it's it, it's time. It's time. I gotta I gotta separate this game from three and four in my mind. This is not Final Fantasy 3, and this is not Final Fantasy 4. As much as my brain is certainly thinking it is, it is not those. Go, Deciphered. We need to get out of here yesterday. Oh, God. Please don't be what I think it is. It is what I think it is. So, I'll say Perep can kill one, and then Cloud can kill the other one. Nice. Cool. So, that part I do understand relative to 13. Attacking the enemy that hasn't attacked yet to make sure that he dies before he attacks. Or attacking the enemy that's already attacked to make sure that, uh, what is it? Code deciphered. To make sure that you don't, uh, what is it? To make sure you don't take extra damage for no reason. And then this game doesn't have, like, the, you know... You, only, you heal after every battle. It has the, uh, you stay taking damage every battle. Which means every battle needs to be done as quickly as possible. Oh! Wow. Why the fuck am I blowing up a reactor? And he said it was sucking life out of the planet, is what Barrett said. Or Barrett. That should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Yeah. Okay, now everyone get back! Are we blowing up C4? We're blowing more shit up? Oh, okay, I was like, did everyone just fucking die? <laughs> what in the Mario fuckery? I love that. All right, now let's get out of here. Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. 
Hey! If it's about your money, wait till we get back. Ooh, loveless. Loveless, why loveless? Damn, alright, shit. Excuse me. What happened? You better get out of here. You better get out of here. Really? I don't know what's going on, but all right. I'm making Cloud have a heart. What can I say? This... That was cool. I like that. This music. Ooh. Mm. I you guys can't see it obviously, but this game is this music is giving me goosebumps right now. That's really fucking good. Oh fuck, I forgot to ask you uh how you are. I'm kind of drunk right now. Oh, that's fine. Uh, that's a that's fine, Sarah the uh dragon. Um, yeah, this is why I super cloud again. I love how they add three times speed. It helps a lot. Hey, you there! I'm gonna fight him. Fuck it. Fuck it. I didn't realize you were experience point shaped. Get whiffed, bitch. That's right, what do you do? Whiff again. Whiff again. You can't hit me. Seven damage out of here. I will always take free experience. You want to fight me? Bitch, try me. I'm playing as Cloud. He's edgy anyways. Plus, I want to kill stuff, get more potions. Bet. What the? Huh? Fight them! Bring it on. Bring it on. Sarah? All right, Sarah. Bet, I'll fight him. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. What you got? Bullets? Nah. Bullets ain't shit. This is like... This is just like when, uh, what's his name? This is just like when Snow stood in front of Sarah being stuck in Crystal and then defended off all the units by himself. I will do that shit as Cloud. Instead of muscle, it's just a really big fucking sword. Cloud strong, big strong. I agree, bro. I want the money. That's him! Item, but keep fighting him, motherfucker! Cloud might be soft, but boy, he's strong. Bro, he's strong and soft. The perfect combo. Attack from both sides. What? That's a thing? This is really cool. You know what, bitch? Just, just because I fucking feel like doing it. You're done. 140. Okay, I'm gonna attack the. I'm gonna attack the guy on the uh, that one. Because he's he was gonna be going, and so now I'll be able to go before he does, which guarantees me to take less damage. Like I said, dude, it, it just took a moment for me to kind of like. I gotta I gotta disassociate this Final Fantasy with the other Final Fantasies. It's gonna take a bit, but we're we're getting there. Plus, I want these potions and money over there. <clears throat> That's as far as you go. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Enough babbling. Grab him. Oh shit. Oh shit. Get him, Cloud. Disappear into the night like Batman. Hmm. Me too. <laughs> I'm also angry. And I don't even know why. Cloud never came. Cloud? Think he was killed? No way! Cloud. <laughs> He's gonna just burst to the ceiling. Say, do you think Cloud's going to stay on and fight for Avalanche? How the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? If y'all weren't such screw-ups! Hey, Barrett! What about our money? 
second punch. Ah, uh, nothing. Sorry. Ah! Wait, no, I was on the screen. Ah. What? No fucking way. Cloud! 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 Looks like I'm a little late. You're damn right you're late. I'm waltzing in here making a big scene. It's no big scene. Just what I always do. Ho ho ho! Motherfucker! God damn it! Piece of shit! Just get starts bleeping out. Cloud never came. That's what she said. His blocky hands hit the box. I fucking love it. That silly ass just... Ugh! <laughs> Haven't everyone worried like that? You don't give a damn about no one but yourself. Mm. You were worried about me? What? That's coming out of your share, hot shot. Wake up. We're moving out. Follow me. Right in the screen. Hey, Cloud. You were great back there. <laughs> Cloud. We'll do even better next time. You're right. Cloud might come next time. Careful. I'll shut this. Oh, Cloud. Your face is pitch black. There you go. Say, thanks for helping me back there at the re reactor. Fucking face. <clears throat> last train out of Sector 8 Station. Last stop in Sector 7. 12.38 a.m. Midgard st Standard Time. Let me try to drink some water again, because I just I just fucking choked on the water. I did to clean my voice, but fuck. Mm. This is why I hate the last train. Hoo boy! Okay. Huh? This is my house, so make yourselves at home. This is your house? Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. Wait, sorry. Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. I'm trying to work on my voices. You see the headlines in the Shinra Times? The terrorists have bombed the number one reactor based somewhere in the slums. Blowing up a reactor, they sure put some thought into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. This train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that will change by tomorrow. Someday Avalanche is going to be famous, and me too! Hey, Cloud. You want to look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know. Flashy stuff. Hello there. Hello there! General Kenobi! Okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Midgar. Let me catch up a chat real quick. Fucking him up. Cloud never... Just blocky hands at the box, Barrett. Motherfucker, son of a bitch, whore. Oh, such a flirt, I love him. Cloud Mick Milk signed me up. I found a meme of Anakin's pod racer starting up. Only it sounds like Seth Rogen's laugh. That makes me want to cry. It's about one ten thousand scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above ground. A main pillar supports the plate in the center. And there are other support pillars. Built in each section. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. Then there's number two, number three, all the way up to number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, and no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's how things turned out. Phew. Look what's next. Look! This is the route this train is on. Route spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around the center right now. 
each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train. It is linked to the central data, s data bank at Shinra headquarters. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using bank IDs. We look suspicious? What makes us look suspicious? Is it the gun hand? What is happening? Speak of the... Speak of the devil! That light means that we're in the ID security check area! The lights go off. You never know what kind of creeps will come out. We're almost back now. What a relief. <clears throat> I might have to leave to uh, use the bathroom here in a second. I apologize. I really gotta go pee, I won't lie. So can I sit down, or...? Look! You can see the surface now! The city don't have no day or night. If that plate weren't there, we could see the sky. A floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. You're just full of surprises. The upper world. A city on a plate. It's because of that goddamn motherfucking whore pizza! That people underneath are suffering! Barrett, and the city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy! And why doesn't everyone move onto the plate? Don't know. Probably because they ain't got no money. Or maybe. Because they love their land, no matter how polluted it gets. I know. No one lives in the slums, because they want to. It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. Interesting dialogue. I gotta say I'm impressed. The dialogue is very thought out like it's it's very consistent as far as like uh like you know like even in the later final fantasies it does seem kind of like normal conversation that like uh people would have you know i just watched the remake cloud becomes more of a point as far as i understand yeah <clears throat> I'm gonna have to remember every single time Barrett says the curse word, I'm just gonna go, God damn it, motherfucking piece of shit whore! Like, every time. I'm just gonna love that. Yo! Get over here, all y'all! All ya! I said all y'all. This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Cause to the, cause to the next one's gonna be bigger than that. Meet back at the hideout. Move out. I don't know what's going on, but all right. I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow. Wow. The fucking wink. When you've been a train man as long as I have, you see a lot of people and a lot of lives. People meeting, parting, joy, sadness. After a while, it doesn't even get to you anymore. What the fuck, dude? What the hell is going on in this place? Jesus. Oh, there's fucking enemies out here? I'm in the goddamn streets. Why are there just enemies? In fact, there's not only enemies, there's fucking robots. You know what, you wanna shoot shit? I'll shoot shit right the fuck back. So he's got a weak- Okay, so definitely that enemy is weak to lightning, because bro disappeared. He was disintegrated. Is there a uh, bestiary or anything, I wonder? I don't think so. Not right now, anyways. That's fine, if another one pops up, I'll just cast lightning again. I don't think there's anything down here. Is there anything over here? I don't know what game this is making me think of, but I've played another- I've played a game where you- Like, when you walk around, it is kind of like this on, like, a- 
Like the background is like a painting and then you're you're animated over it. This is going to be annoying. There's three of them. Yeah, I'm going to have to rush this shit. Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. Fire. Oh, that's 13 damage. That's fine. What? How do you have that big of a sword? You could have smacked him sideways. You didn't have to cut with the sharp end. It's so big, you could have hit him with the blunt end if you wanted to. All right, Cloud. You were... You were fumbling right now, bro. I need you to land these attacks, please. Okay, the one is definitely appreciated. They do attack so much faster to me, though. God damn it, Cloud! Yeah. That's alright. That's alright. I'll be able to live with hit chance. It's a, it's a, It's a problem. I don't mind it. It doesn't make me that mad. It only makes me mad when you're playing by yourself and you can't fucking do anything. Like, when you can't do anything to... F Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me double check something real quick. Three times. Nope. Okay, cool. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Jesus. What the hell do you want? You know who I am? You can't pass. I got the miserable job of keeping scum like you from trying to sneak in here. Oh, wow, you're great. Damn right. Don't waste time talking. What I always say. But, uh, I... Oh, yeah, we should definitely save. There we go. Sector five, sector seven, the slums. What's up, bro? Hey, thou! Oops. What on earth are you doing? Just butt out, jeez. Huh? You came to see it too. There was a bombing on top. If this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Well, there's no point in worrying about that. Hey, check it out. It's huge, ain't it? Holy fuck! <laughs> that is act. That is pretty fucking gigantic. So we're like in a dystopian kind of future style place, is what it looks like. Like futuristic dystopian, similar to thirteen. I can see why people kind of draw a couple comparisons here and there for like some of the uh, societies and stuff. Hey, this is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place, but you can come here when you want. See ya, bro. Wow. Wow. Yo, Cloud, over here, now! What, 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 what? There, miss, regular hit, critical hit. Mommy Milkers! Where are the Mommy Milkers at? Wow! Wow! Did you hear? Don't care. Oh, well, excuse me! Okay. Did you hear? No. What? There's a news update. They say that there was a terrorist explosion up above, and that this time it was a Mako reactor. You know what this means? Don't care. Well, excuse me! <laughs> You see, I keep on top of these things, and if you ask me, if you knock out Midgar's, Midgar's power, then all of its computers and signals are going to be knocked out too. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. And ain't that all? And that ain't all. A lot of innocent people got killed too. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least the people could have gone to, in their sleep. I just love the don't care. That's just so fucking stupid. Oh, fuck, shit, piece of whore! What the hell's wrong tonight? I thought that long blackout was strange. They say a macro reactor was destroyed above. I was just sitting here drinking, watch watching the news by myself, and all of a sudden, I get kicked out of the goddamn store. What's up with that? Whew, ah, oh, jeez, oh, Rick. I'm blitzed! 
I just love them homemade cocktails, but they sure do creep up on you. Bro is drunk off his ass. All right. What does this say? Can't read it. Okay. I did not all the shields I pro I properly need now, I believe. Oh, for like, uh... Okay, go on ahead. Okay, before we walk in here... I really, really need to use the bathroom. You, Cloud, get off your slow-moving ass! That's fucking hilarious that they're actually doing that. Yeah, let me use the bathroom. I will be right back. Um, while I'm gone, um, if you guys have played this game, what is one of your favorite things about it? And then, um, if you haven't, why haven't you? I'll be right back. I just figured something out. Hold up. This is supposed to be way up here. God damn it. Hold up. There it is. So now I can turn it down. That's why it's so much louder on my end. There we go. Yeah, I'll be right back. Uh, Final Fantasy VII.
Okay. I'm making builds to a meme with when I help my friend play, so basically I made a shield hero build. Next is bow, then spear. We take we talk about Final Fantasy VII. I love the game. My favorite character is Cloud. That's obvious. I ship Cloud and Sephiroth together because they're cute. I also love the fighting in the game. My favorite is Perret. He could be a one-man army and Stomp will appear with Cloud. I love the memes of Sephiroth flirting with Cloud. Yeah, Perret, in my opinion, does no damage, and he has a low health compared to Cloud and Vincent. I barely have to heal Perret in Remake. Don't know how about older version. Yeah, in old game, he's bad. There's a reason their challenge, run, uh, their challenge runs called Barrett. It's called the Barrett only challenge. <laughs> nice. So yeah, I was all saying, I imagine in Remake, he probably gets uh, buffed a lot. Okay, we're gonna... Alright, I'm getting in there, Barrett. I'm getting in there. Papa! It's the queen herself! Marlene, are you gonna say anything to Cloud? Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? Yeah. I should have known. He's always pushing people around, and you're, you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. I can't, I can't re- God damn it! There we go. I can't replace the perfect name on the perfect face. I'm so glad everyone's safe. Aw, oh, damn it, I can't play pinball. Sorry, Cloud. Marlene seems a little shy. Oh, Cloud! Tifa- God damn it, it's a capital A! Tifa! <laughs> it's a capital A. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. Mm, anyway, let me tell you something. God fucking damn it. <laughs> it's gonna look so fucking stupid. I cannot. I cannot. I know it's hard to beat the game with one character. It's easier to do uh, with only Cloud or Tifa. Wait, let me tell you something. About oh, what? Tifa always lets me taste her cooking. And look at me now, I'm roly-poly. Don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but it's good food and drinks that make this shop famous. Hey, Wedge. You're getting all excited. Stop making such a mess. Ah, nothing like that first drink after a job. Why, don't you want to have one too? Yeah, why not? Oh, that's more like it. Even if you were with Soldier, you're still a rookie here. So you'd better listen to whatever I tell you. So do I sit down, or what do I do? Oh. Okay. Papa, welcome home! Aw. Adorable. You all right, Barrett? Great! Get in here, fools! We're starting the meeting. The meeting. What the fuck? Yo, what? Sit down. How about something to drink? I don't feel like you give me something hard. Just a minute, I'll make one for you. I want to be absolutely shit-faced for this meeting. You know, I'm relieved you made it back safely. What will you all of a sudden? That job wasn't even tough. I guess not. You were in Soldier. Make sure you get your pay from Barrett. Don't worry. Once I get that money, I'm out of here. Aw. Cloud, are you feeling all right? Yeah. Why? No reason. You just look a little tired, I guess. She's so sweet. You're such a dick, Cloud. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> what an asshole.
fuck is that noise? Oh, he's punching and punching back. Yo, Cloud! There's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? None. I'm positive. <laughs> One more. Bam! You sound pretty... You sound pretty sure. If there was anyone from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. Don't go thinking you're so bad just because you wasn't Soldier. Let me at him! I'm gonna kick his ass! <laughs> Holy fuck! Yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys a Soldier are. Don't forget that you're... That your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now! <laughs> Don't get no ideas about hanging on Shinra! Staying with Shinra? You asked me a question, and I answered it. That's all. <laughs> I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. God damn! Wait! Cloud! Tifa, let him go! Well, like he still misses the Shinra. Shut up! I don't care about neither Shinra nor Soldier. But don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. Jesus fucking Christ, that poor punching bag! Oh my god! Papa, you're so great! Straighten things up with everyone for me. Shucks! Money? Money? It must have been for a lot of it. Well, what the hell? It's a verbal agreement now. Let, oh, now let me figure this out. Oh, stop it, Cloud. Did you hear me? Cloud. You say you don't care, but you came to talk to me. Cloud. You just want friends. Isn't that about right? Blow off. Yeah, well, you look kind of lonely to me. <laughs> you ever got anything? <laughs> you want to get off your chest, you can always talk to me. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? This is adorable. This is so extra. Alright. Well, out we go then. T oh, the team was going to stop me. Listen, Cloud, I'm asking you. Please join us. Sorry, Tifa. The planet is dying. Slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. So let Barrett and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So? You're really leaving? You're just going to walk right out ignoring your childhood friend? What? What? That doesn't make any sense. I'm just gonna go sorry. You forgot the promise? Too? Promise? So you did forget! Remember, Cloud? It was seven years ago. Final Fantasy seven years ago? Oh my god. Look! The well! Do you remember? Yeah. Back then. I thought you would never come. And I was getting a little cold. <laughs> what a little shit! What a, what a little shit. Sorry I'm late! Adorable. A little cute dress. <laughs> you said you wanted to talk to me about something? Come this spring, I'm leaving town for Midgar. All the boys are leaving town. But I'm different from them. I'm not just going to find a job. I want to join Soldier. She's 
so under I'm going to be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. What? What? He knows who that is? I am very unaware of the story of this game now. I really don't know what's going on. He knows who that is? Sephiroth? THE Great Sephiroth? What? I thought Sephiroth was some random fuck. He knows who that is? Isn't it hard to join, soldier? I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. Aw. This is sad. Huh? Is she crying? Is that what's basically happening right now? If you make it, will you be in the newspapers? I'll try. Hey, let's make a promise. Oh no. Um, if you get really famous, and I'm ne and I'm ever in a bind, you'll cons you'll come save me. All right? What? If I'm ever in trouble. My hero will come and rescue me. I never expected this from Tifa. I want to experience that at least once. What? Come on. Promise me. All right. I promise. He did just to get her to leave him the fuck alone. That's adorable. What is this? <laughs> I was not expecting Tifa to act like this. I wasn't expecting him to know who Sephiroth is. This is all incredibly interesting. You remember now, don't you? Our promise? I'm not a hero. And I'm not famous. So I can't keep our promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier! So come on! You've got to keep your promise! Bro's climbing back up, what? Wait a second! Big time soldier! A promise is a promise. Here. Just fucking threw it at me on the- He threw it on the ground. This is my pay? Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll- You got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for 3,000. What? It's okay. It's okay. Psst. We're really hurting for help, right? Uh, uh, that's, that money's for Marlene Schoolin. Marlene Schoolin. Two thousand. Thanks, Cloud. This is adorable. Honestly, yeah, this is not how I expected this game to start at all. I'm already, I'm already taken by, taken by surprise. I just, where did I just get up at? I will say I do need to, uh, oh, I'm downstairs. Okay. Yeah, here. I need to, uh, have something scheduled for after this stream, and then I have Elden Ring later tonight. Let me double check something real quick. Back to this. Yeah, I'll be getting I'll be the, uh, getting off probably around uh, um, not 11, but like 11:30 ish, and then around 12, 12:30 I'll start my Elden Ring. Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? Next to you, who would it? Hey, yo! All right, what? What? What did I miss? What the fuck? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I'm going this time. That's crazy, dude. That's fucking crazy just to be saying. I mean, bet. I'd probably sleep fine too. Shit. Our target's a Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, Cloud. For the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. 
I, uh... I don't really know how to use materia. I'll give you that materia we found. Just teach me how to use it. <sighs> sure. I'll explain how materia works. First, access the menu. You know the basic functions? Oops. Oops. Okay, so it is a direct thing. Like this. Select each menu by pressing the A button. If you want to leave the menu, press the B button. See? Let's go ahead. Now you're in this menu. Select who you want to use it. And look at my weapon here. Each weapon and armor has slots in it. Choose which slot you want to put the materia in. There's two slots for it you want to use. Sure. So, minus one strength, plus one magic, minus two percent max HP, plus two percent max HP. Oh, like, I guess it... I don't understand. Okay. This is curative materia. Oh, I need to use it to upgrade it, I guess? You want to know what this effect is? I need to stop pressing shit. Okay, so it's cure. Available magic has increased. You can now use magic cure. All there is is equipping materia. See? It wasn't that tough. Okay, so I didn't realize materia was abilities. I thought it was like stat boosts. Put materia. Your situation changes. Parts of you become stronger, with others get while others get weaker. Normally, you equip magic materia. Magic power will get stronger. Your physical strength weakens. So materia is kind of a double-edged sword. On the left side of the screen, you can see the materia's effect on you. It's wise not to overuse magic materia. But try out various things. Okay, so I think I understand it now. God fucking shit, piece of horror! What's this? It wasn't that tough crap. I don't get it! You just handle the material, Cloud. Cloud, I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you, don't forget. Marlene, you watch the store while we're gone. All right, good luck! Well, I'm already intrigued by the menu and everything. So I have Ice and Lightning on there. And uh, I think... Okay, so that's the new one that I got, was the Ice and Lightning. Okay, so they both bring my strength down. That means if I go to Materia, right... Ah, so it does literally just lower the stats. Okay. So it is it is working the way that I'm thinking it does. That was cool. That's what I was trying to figure out first. The sword guy upstairs? What upstairs? I'm so confused. What the hell? Haha, <laughs> I wonder if my son's already left. When it's just my wife and I here, you have no idea how lonesome it gets. He used to give us nothing but headaches when he was here, and now that he's gone, we kind of miss him. Strange, isn't it? I can just go into Bro's room? That's kind of fucked. I can just go into places wherever the fuck I feel like? Why? Why is that allowed? Listen, 
If there isn't anyone to listen, what's the use of getting gossip on everyone? Yeah, and you, Mr. I don't care. I'll get a little more information that would pique even your interest. You wait and see. All right, bro. Chill out. So what's in here? Is this the weapons? The fuck is this? You dried up old geese. You tired? Why don't you rest up on the third floor of my house? Just one condition. You gotta give me some cash. Cheap ass. Hey, wait a minute, you. You can't just walk out of here without buying something. Might be unhealthy for you if you know what I mean. The assault gun is his weapon. Grenade. That's pretty cool. I can just buy a grenade. How much gold do I- oh, I have a lot. Wait, one cost. Oh, it's 11, I see. Cool. So the second floor of the weapon shop is where they said the guy had a gift for me. Hello, Mr. Gift. What's the gift? Oh! This is the Beginner's Hall. You say you're a beginner, but your eyes say you're not. Don't mess with me. I used to be in Soldier. I'll tell you how much I know, and for free, too. Uh, I'm good. I think I, think I understand what's going on. Back knock, help! You gotta hang in there. Your limit gauge is just starting to build. Ah! Okay, now your limit gauge is full. Go ahead and use it. Fight with your limit technique. Damn. Fucking comboed! Great. What am I witnessing right now? I'm so confused. Tell us about battles. We'll even pay you. Change and defend. Escape, gauges, status, elementals. Move ahead effectively. If you pay attention to the types of elementals you use, you'll become an intermediate in no, no time. Power works best on animals and water monsters. Okay. Works best on fire monsters, things that hate the cold. Works best on mechanical things. Power doesn't work on flying enemies. Poisons enemies doesn't work on any poison-based enemies. Gravity-based attack these hurt if they hit. Calls on the earth's wa uh, calls on the earth's water works well on fire monsters. All the winds works well on flying enemies. Works well on dark monsters. Also, if you use the same elemental, your defenses are raised, but you have to be careful because your opposite is also true. See what elementals an enemy has. It's the you need sense materia. If you get that materia, you should try using it. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, and what's ch defend? Change command can move characters to and from the front and back rows. In the back row, the damage received is less, but the attacking power is less. You can make a change by pressing battle. Like the defend reduces the damage you receive by half until the next command. You're up against a strong enemy, don't hesitate to use this. Of course, I never I never need it. Okay. So it seems like this battle the battles are a lot more interactive than I than I realize. This is the fabled save point. Oh, okay, so we'll go ahead and use that real quick. Whoa, this should be all you need to know about the save point. That looks so fucking cool. I'm a treasure chest, beginners, make sure and keep an eye out for me. What? Randomly, a treasure chest falls out in the sky. All right, then. Why is Mr. Treasure Chest here? Who invited him? Here, I'm going to go ahead and equip my uh, stuff real quick. So, leather glove, new iron bangle. Ah, so bangles don't change health in this game. They change your, def your defense. Okay. Oh, oh, 
Okay, actually, I might go buy another uh, Iron Bangle then. I didn't realize how that worked. Fuck yeah. Wait, hold, hold up. Who the fuck is that? Hey, Edgy, hey, Gwenning. Now, Sarah. Received all Materia. Hey, you got one right off. That was Materia. Next, take this treasure chest. Oh, what the fuck? Received Ether. Weird, but okay. Weird, but fine. What's in here? What's in the top floor? This is a slum, so I don't think you'd stay for free. What do you want to do? I've never seen the bed make you sleepy. Tough guy, how you better sleep when you can. You better save when you can. Wait, do I have, like, low health or anything? No, we're good. Nah, we're good. We're fine. Jesus, Cloud, just hopping the fuck down, are we? Damn, man, just forget about it. There we go, bye, and... That's what I wanted to do. Now we can set up our materia and stuff. Cool, I actually wonder what type of materia I just got. So we can give him the Iron Bangle. So we have Restore and All, which is... She actually doesn't have a whole lot of health. What is the... What, is, what are the stats, I wonder? 15. So is she lower level? She is lower level. That would be an issue. So he's got the most health. What's her magic? His magic is by far the highest. My god. Spirit, I think, is magic defense. Luck, I don't know what that means. Probably crit and everything. Yeah, I don't think I fully understand what everybody's going to be uh, using and needing, but that's okay. It'll change with time. We'll figure it out. For now, we're going to go ahead and give her the... Uh, they probably restore. Because she's not really doing a whole lot of damage anyways right now, so we'll just go ahead and give her that. I don't know what the all materia does, but fuck it. We got it. We might as well use it. Ah, Johnny's gone. You look a little disappointed. I like to say it myself, but I'm just a lonely guy when I'm not drinking. Honestly, the materia system has already incredibly intrigued me. I can't wait to see, like, you know, how it all pans out, you know? Like, I really want to see how this stuff ends up working, and I'm really fucking curious. Also, what's her limit break? Beat Rush? Oh, okay. You guys were talking about uh, Husbandos earlier. I'm here to say mine is all of them. All of them? Every character in all of existence is, a, is your Husbando? That's fucking interesting. And what per se do you mean by that? Yo! This ain't no private car, so split up! Hoodlums again. God. Don't I just have all the luck? You say something? I said, you say something? Now look at that. It got an empty L. It got empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn! It... It's empty because of g g guys like you. Damn. Yipes! You... You've seen the news, right? Avalanche says there will be more bombings. Only devoted employees like me would go to Midgar on a day like today. You work for Shinra? I won't give in to violence. Brett! Motherfucking goddammit piece of shit, you lucky fucking whore, dumbass loser, fucker fuck. <laughs> so what are we gonna do now? Fuck! The hell are you so calm? You're busting up my rhythm. Scream with me! <laughs> 
I was quoting the Lich. That's quoting the Lich? How's that quoting the Lich? Looks like they just finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. So what's our next target? Ha! Listen to Mr. Serious about his work. All right, I'll tell ya. Jesse's probably already told you. There's a security checkpoint at the top plate. It's an ID scan system checking all the trains. Whoops. Which Shinra is very proud of. We can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning and welcome to Midgar Lines. Arrival time to Sector 4 station is 11.45. That means we've got only three more minutes to the ID checkpoint. All right, in three minutes, we're jumping off this train. Got it! Cloud, come over here. Let's look at the railway map monitor. I remember this part. <laughs> I don't. Hmm, it looks like you've seen this already. It's all right. Come a little closer. What the fuck? That's odd, the ID checkpoint was supposed to be further down. High pay security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search for all cars will be conducted. Repeat, type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. What's happening? What's going on? We're in trouble. I'll explain later, hurry, get to the next car. Fuck shit, damn it, whore, someone blew it. Identified passengers located in car number one, preparing for lockdown. Let's go, keep it up! Cap number one, lockdown, upgrade to level two, warning. Hurry! They're locking down the door, sir! Just run! Change the plan two! Remember, I just find it goofy how the lich just says all of them. Car number two, lockdown, upgrade to warning level three. All right, we clear. Jesse, I'm sorry, not yet. We're st starting another check if we're caught. We're done for. If we move on the train car by car, we should get past it. Unidentified passengers moving to the, moving to front of train, currently tracking location. Hee hee, what? Upgrade to warning level four. Very well, fuser. What? What are these people? What are these people saying? That's that broad. Let me take the bomb. What? Bro's got that killer mustache up here, by the way, on the left. Like I'm just saying, bro is him. All right, we made it. Yo, this way. Run. Let's go, we're gonna dive out of here! What about Mustache Man? Scary, huh? Too late for that now. Why'd you come along anyway? I'll say I was expecting Tifa to be a lot braver. Because! Hey, you two, there ain't no time for that! You're making Tifa jump first? I mean, I guess ladies first. Oh, what? Yeah, I've made up my mind. I'm gonna jump! Watch closely. He just turned around. I don't care if I go first. The leader always stays till the end. Don't worry about me, just go. Yo, don't go getting your spiky ass hurt. It's only the beginning of the mission. All right, whatever. Just complete, complete the obstacles. Later, you take care of the rest. Indeed, indeed. Jesse's sex vendor crime has finally caught up to her. For context, she's a creep in the remake. What? What? Good. So far, everything's going as planned. Don't let your guard down until we get to Sector 5 Reactor. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse Hello there. got everything ready for us, so move it! General Kenobi. Reactor's just down this tunnel. Hmm. 
Alrighty then. What is this way? Okay. What the fuck are these? That did how much damage? It didn't do fucking anything. Alright, whatever. Silk. I'm assuming it's a status effect. I can't tell what that did. Not the, not the punch. That's a dead bug, and that's also a dead bug. <laughs> She's really just out here stretching. I mean, bet. That, that makes sense. That's fair. In the remake, she's constantly hugs clouds unprompted and overall makes me feel uncomfortable with her advances. She can't take a hint. Can't wait to see that bitch <laughs> die. Yeah, fuck that bitch. I can't wait to see it either. Fuck. What the hell is in this tunnel? So confused. I'm so confused. Barry's gonna take out that one. Then Barrett, I believe, takes out that one. And Tifa will probably get the cleanup. And T if Tifa doesn't go first, that is. Nope, Tifa's going first. Okay, well that's fine. She only did 14, so it doesn't matter. There we go. Okay, so Cloud's gonna take out that one. Then Tifa and Barrett's gonna take out the one on the uh, in the middle. Oh, you know what? I think they did slow down my attack because it's it's going up really slow now. I see, I see. That's what it was. It was a special effect move rather than an attacking move. Which is understandable, because, I mean, if it didn't cost MP, I would do the same fucking thing. Level up! What did Aerith do? Oh, I have no idea. I don't know the first... I don't know anything about Aerith. I don't know anything about Aerith. Okay, I'm missing something somewhere. Die easily. Oh, fair. Where the fuck am I going? Yeah, I have no idea what's going on, but all right. As long as you don't slow down Cloud, that's my that's my request. Just don't slow down our guy. We kind of need him. And you slowed him down, you bitch. It missed. Yes. Welcome home, Dylan. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, so you would be tired. You've been awake for a while. What's up? Do I want to ask? I agree. I agree. Paperwork as the manager. Well, as you can tell, I just decided to play Final Fantasy VII, um, which I gotta say, nobody's acting the way I thought they would at all. Like, uh, here, chat, give me one second. I need to get up for a moment. I'm like. I don't know why my head my eyes are feeling tired. I'll be right back.
Okay, I feel like I'm feeling a little bit more awake now. I don't know when she's the one to die. I, if I remember right, you need to make sure to level all characters up equally for the end. Why you thought we are all awesome? Yay, let's, uh, cloud and keep his polygon abs. I mean, their polygon abs are hot, so. Uh, abs or abs, I'm not going to be picky about what kind. Alright, but yeah, I have no fucking idea where I'm going. He just said further down this goddamn tunnel. Okay, so I wasn't just walking in circles. Good. Those light beams are Shinra's security sensors. We can't go any further. Fuck! That's one damn tiny hole. You're telling me to squeeze into that? To get under the plate? No way! Yo, Cloud, what are we gonna do? Doesn't seem to be anything that'll get us stuck in this duct. Okay. Oh. Okay, but if we go down this duct, we won't be able to come back. Don't be wasting time. Never know when Shinra will find us. Don't go. What do you mean we're not going in? There ain't no other way of getting in a Sector 5 reactor except through here. So he said if I go there, I can't go back. So you know what? I am going to go down this tunnel now. I didn't plan on going back all the way down this tunnel after seeing how long it was, but now that he said I literally can't go back, now I am going to go this whole fucking tunnel. I hope you're ready. What about the mail abs? Mail abs are hot, but like... Hmm. Back attack? Oh, God. I don't, I don't get to see toned women very often, so when I do... Fast run. So then. I still don't fully understand the process of what the fuck is going on, but it's okay. Fuck! Fuck! Alright. Well, I made them all attack something. I don't know, but yeah, I, I, I very much do not fully process, like, the controls and the actions and everything. I really do think it's just because, like, I've not. I keep thinking it's... Oh, yeah, I'm a lot... I'll, I'll say, yeah, the gameplay style... Like, this game, having a similar gameplay style to 13, in this, like, form of everything, is throwing me off so fucking bad. Like, it is. What is that? A mosquito on my screen? It is a mosquito on my screen. Whatever. At least it's, as long as it's on my screen, I don't care. What about male abs? Eh. Gotcha. Yeah, you're fine. It's right there in the next level. You're fine. That's my point. Just leave him there. Don't bother me. Well, now he's gone. He changed as soon as the screen turned red. Alright. Okay, so I need to remember that it's left and right to change opponents, not up and down. I keep trying to do it in a three-dimensional, like, thing. And that's, it's not, I mean, yes, it's three-dimensional, but I need to think of it like, like I'm moving across the thing. Because I'm so used to, like, going down and picking my enemy on a list, and I don't pick them on a list in this game, I pick them on the screen. Damn, why did Tifa do 30? What the fuck? Why is she out of nowhere doing actual damage? It said her damage is shit. I'm confused. It must be. And see, that's also the thing. I can't, I can't look what the enemy's doing, so it's also confusing the fuck out of me. Let's go! Tifa killed her first enemy! Let's go! Let's go! Maybe he doesn't wear them in this game. I don't want to make character sprites now. The drill build needs to be put uh, put away now. It destroyed too many bosses. No, Brett's HP is shit, apparently. I keep saying it both ways. It's terrible. Oh, 
Um, I mean, Ferris seems pretty cool. I'm honestly, are these fucking rocket launchers? This is not good. This literally can't be good. It literally is a rocket launcher. God damn. Oh, fuck. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah! What does that mean? What is happening? Why did I just roll for a... B oh, wait. Hers is a... What? Yo? She just... Lucky... Tri Lucky 7 is ass with her limit break, I guess. But I am actually very invested in the story. But I'm more invested in the story than I am in the gameplay so far. But I'm still trying to wrap my head around the gameplay. I'm wrapped. I'm wrapped around the build capability, and I'm wrapped. And I'm wrapped around the story. The story, the the, the characters, the story, and the build potential have my full attention. The gameplay is completely confusing the fuck out of me. But I'm um, not. I got mostly my normal viewers. I had a lot of viewers. Uh, I didn't think this game would give me a lot of new viewers or anything. Um. How do you think I feel? I'm a fucking 3D polygon character running on a painting, basically. I thought too, but no, they're different. They're apparently different. That's what's throwing me off. Yeah, this is what a lot of the older games do. Just walk up and end up in battle. That's alright though. Yeah, I'm honestly loving the characters so far. And I do think the character designs look really good for what they are. And especially the uh was the first cutscene of the game. They were straight flexing. This was made in 1999, you said? Not bad. One of the last games on PS1. I mean I gotta say, this does look pretty good for like a PS1 game. It is difficult, though, because I'm having to control every single party member in a real-time event. And I feel like that's probably, like, why they changed it a little bit. Because I'm getting overloaded trying to tell everybody to do something, and I feel like I'm wasting time. Shinra security guards are there. We've got to turn back. You're the avalanche! Drill build, um, she's got kangaroo, she's kangaroo that suck, right? I think I killed every dragon now. Boom, get kicked in the dick! How are you gonna miss, bro? Come on. Boop, boop. Get him, Barrett! There we go. Well, we've not had to do any, like, uh, magic casting or, casting or anything yet, so that's pretty good. Level up, level up. Damn. Alright, alright. And we got a grenade. Let's go, let's go. Intruders! A terrorist attack! More security coming. It's dangerous to stay here. Stay here. Oh! <laughs> I wish Tifa would. Jesus! She just threw a fucking grenade! I love that. Braver, you certainly are not living past this. I just did a grenade's worth of damage with my fucking sword. Beam gun! The one two combo was all we needed. We're absolutely fucking power leveling right now, I want you all to know. And an antidote, nice, nice. Okay, we'll run, we'll run. I didn't realize that that was gonna just start a battle area. Alright. Have a nice day. Oh, are you leaving, Vacated Crab? You getting off for the day? I'm so confused. What do you mean you wish Tifa would? I don't understand. Okay, the menus are slowly making sense. 
it's like I said, it's just gonna take some time. 34 silk. I do wish that when they did the silk though, it would tell me what it does. But at least I, I do see that it does slow down my ATB gauge. Which is a little depresso expresso, but it can't be helped. Damn, 35. I wonder why she's doing so much damage. Does Tifa normally do like a lot of damage or something? Is that what I'm getting at? She must be. Let me see here. No, he still does more damage. No. Strength and attack are different. Ah, oh, alright then. Whatever. No, it was a joke. It looked, I would say, I wish Tifa would kick me in the dick, but I said have a nice day instead. <laughs> I'm probably gonna use a uh, cure with Tifa just to see how much it heals. Oh my god, fuck this. Nice! 263! Holy shit! God damn. So it looks like cure is actually worthwhile. My only question is, how do I level up Materia? Do I need to use Materia to level it up? That's kind of what I'm trying to figure out right now. That one's gone. And now that one just needs to get hit by somebody, which is now... Take it out! Let's go. Yeah, let me look at the Cure Materia. Because the Cure Materia will be leveled up a little bit now if it was, uh... Because I'm gonna be using it, so let's see here. The next level, 2,408. So, yeah, I was gonna say, I got. Depresso Expresso, that's a good idea for an emote. I love Depresso from Power World and Coffee. Emote would be relatable. I actually do have a question, so for anybody who has played this game. Um, sorry, the game is still so fucking loud, dude. What the hell? I don't know why this game is... See, that's too quiet, though. It keeps bouncing between loud and quiet. Whatever. Um... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, this will actually tell me right here. Let me see. So if I go to Materia, 2,408. So no, it doesn't go up by that. Okay, then what the fuck makes it go up then? Is it just experience? Like, how do you level up Materia in this game? I was thinking it's because you had to use it. Or is it just because you have it equipped? I'll probably have to ask my uncle, because my uncle played this game a lot, and he might remember off, uh, offhand, but who knows. Who knows? Let's go ahead and head forward, though. I did plan on getting off this game around 11.30. But I will say I'm already having a really good fucking time with it, so. Which makes me happy. I'm really glad that I'm enjoying the game as much as I am. Because I feel like, once again... I want it. I want to be. I want to be part of the hype. And I can finally kill these guys nearly outright. Plus, this kind of works for grinding because I know with a lot of these older ones, you kind of have to grind a little bit. So this will work out. I mean, this is kind of leveling up my materia, anyways. I guess. I guess. I have no idea. All right, then I guess we're going in. But damn, man, that thing gives me the chills. <laughs> what the fuck? <gasps> what is it? Oh, ether. Nice, nice. It's so awkward watching him lean over and then go down a fucking uh, ladder. Oh, what the hell? 
Oh, dude, what are these camera angles, by the way? These camera angles get wilder and wilder by the moment, I swear. What's over here? Is there anything, like, secret I can find if I press A on stuff? Nope. Does not seem to be. Why is it so shaky? I don't know. Maybe it's danger! Imminent danger! Oh, no. Hell's Bubbles? What? Oh, God. How did that miss? It clearly hit you, but bet. Okay, so sleep isn't that bad. Once you get hit, you wake up from sleep. Good. What the fuck are these things? So they're doing, like, water magic. But it is, thankfully, just status magic, so that's fine. They're also really fucking tanky for some reason. Like, strangely tanky. Honestly, fuck it. We're, we're singling this one out. Thank you. Just get him out of here sooner, you know? There we go. We did it, team! Claude's actually about to get his limit break. It's also interesting to see the limit breaks be built entirely off of, uh, just taking damage. So that's interesting. So you, to use a limit break, you have to be kind of losing in the first place. You can't just be winning and then top off with limit break. Cloud! This way! The reactor's up this ladder! Hey, hey, no. You can't jump up with my TV, Luna. You can watch, but you can't jump up with the TV. Sorry. You're gonna use sleep on the guy who's already asleep. What the fuck is the point of that? You know what? At least get rid of that thing before he starts shooting his rockets while we're all asleep. Why are we hitting different enemies? Also, Barrett, it'd be amazing if you could wake up. Thank you, Barrett. Thank you. Very much appreciated. You know what? Go right ahead, Cloud. Go insta-kill this poor little creature. It deserves it, I'm sure. That 100 damage, not the triple-digit explosion. Let's go. Let's go. I'm starting to get enough experience from all the enemies now to where it's like... I'm, or sorry, I'm get, starting to get to the level from killing so many enemies now that I'm not even really leveling up near as much. I also forgot to pay attention. I don't know if you actually level up or, like, get full health whenever you level up or not. Anyway, I'm putting that in the emote backlog. The thing died on me. Oh, you're depresso? I'm sorry. The ID scan problem on the train was all my fault. I modified your ID card, and that's what did I did it. I did my best, but I failed. Wait, what's up here, and what's down there? Oh, boy. Bro, what? These camera angles are never going to be old, dude. Oh, your phone died on you? I got you, I got you. I mean, yeah, if you want to use that ID f idea for an emote, you can. All right, bro. All right. Oh, this just goes back to the main area, I think. Okay. Wait, then what ladder do I need to be going to, then? I'm so lost. I'm so confused! That's okay. When am I not confused trying to play a game I've not played before? You know, I kind of have to play the game before to not be fucking lost all the time, apparently. Ooh, a save point. Well, I don't know when the next save point is, so I'd, I'd hate to have to save right here. Addicted to caffeine, so... I cast bolts! 
It is truly that powerful. It's about to fucking use some lightning. It's gonna shoot a rocket at me here in a second if I'm not careful. Yup, there it is. Right at Barrett's face. Also, I like that you can use uh, Cure outside of battle. I appreciate that you don't have to use it in battle. Also, do we have to be using sleep on two of my teammates? Why does it have to be me single-handedly fighting you now? You know what? That works. Damn it, the fact that you missed makes this worse. You could have at least the one time I need you to land an attack, you miss. You could have you could have missed any other time, but now you're gonna fuck her. Come on. With the sleep you know what? Thank you, Cloud. Thank you. You clutched in at the last the best moment. Come on, Tifa. Get him! Kick that little spiky bat fish thing. <laughs> I can hit my teammates. What? I did not notice that. I, w I kept seeing myself accidentally hovering over teammates, but I was like, maybe that's not right. And no, no, you absolutely can. What would be the point of being able to hit teammates, I wonder? I mean, I guess waking them up, you could hit them with something weak. I guess there is that. Okay, so it is leveling up. It just, it literally just goes up through battle, I guess. You just need to have it equipped. Well, that kind of answers my question. Oh, boy. Um, I don't think I have enough time to keep going, chat, sadly. Because we're at 2 hours and 15 minutes, and I don't think this game's going to have another save point. But. That's okay. I have some stuff I need to do anyways. But honestly, I gotta say, I'm su I'm surprised with how uh, good this game's been so far. I honestly been having a fucking really good time. Um, the combat seems to be difficult enough and interesting enough to hold my attention. Um, and it also seems to have, like, some depth to it. I like the uh, idea of Materia so far. And I'm loving the characters. Um, you know, uh, everybody from, you know, Cloud, Tifa, the ones I expected. I'm surprised that we saw Aerith already, and I'm also shocked that they know who Sephiroth is. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of ready to see, like, how the pieces all fit in together. So you guys will probably see me playing this. Um, but when I get back online, I'll be doing my Elden Ring playthrough with, uh, Dylan and me. So stay tuned for that. I'll be coming on around 12 p.m., 12.30 p.m. We'll see. But for now, I'm gonna go use the bathroom and get a couple of things done before that. But, anyways... This has been awesome, and I look forward to playing this game some more. And I am very happy to finally have started a new playthrough with you guys. And yes, Depresso is one of the cutest little guys. I've not played Power World, but I do know who you're talking about in Power World. But for now, thank you all. And as always, later losers. Have a good night. Oh yeah, don't worry. We're, you'll, you'll be getting the third stream. Don't worry, Vacated Crab. If you Hopefully you can join in for that one, but yeah. It'll be here in about 30-ish minutes or so, more than likely. 30 minutes to an hour. If you're still awake, feel free to hop in. I'd love to have you.